So now we're going to talk about the idea of concavity. Concavity is about the way a function is curving, the way the graph of the function curves. So first of all, you may remember the difference between convex and concave. Convex is something that is curving outward. Concave is something that is curving inward. And so, of course, if you just have an individual line, an individual function, it's hard to say, well, you know, one side is going to look like it's convex and the other side is going to look like it's concave. So how do we talk about this? Well, consistently what we'll talk about is which way the concave direction faces. And so if something is curving like this, we call it concave up. And notice that concave up is a smiley face. If something is curving like this, then we call it concave down. And of course, this is like a frown face. And concave up, concave down are enormously important for functions. In particular, think about what's happening with the slope. If something's concave up, it's starting out with a very negative slope, getting less negative, less negative, zero, little positive, more positive, more positive. In other words, throughout that entire process, the slope is increasing. Meanwhile, concave down starts out with a very high slope and it gets less and less, goes to zero and then starts going to negative numbers and then more negative and more and more negative. So during that whole process, the slope is decreasing. And so concavity really tells us not just about an individual slope, but about a change in slope. You could almost call it a rate of change of slope. And because we're looking at the slope changing, of course, the slope is the first derivative. And if we want to know the rate of change of the first derivative, we need to take the second derivative. And in fact, the second derivative is exactly what tells us about concavity. So if the second derivative of a function is positive, then the function is concave up during the region where the second derivative is positive. And during the region where the second derivative is negative, the function is concave down. The next video will give an example of this calculation.